back everyone, Adam Solowitz here. Today is episode four of the Quarantine Cookbook, and we're gonna be making beet and citrus cured salmon. I've been getting a lot of requests for some healthier options and healthier recipes, so today, with the beet and citrus cured salmon, it's gonna be on the healthier end of the spectrum, using very simple ingredients, fresh ingredients, and local ingredients. So, before we get going, let's get to the curing of the salmon. All right, let's get to making the cure. So right here, we have a little bit of salt, sugar, and chopped dill. We're gonna be adding some lemon juice and orange juice. So I have one whole lemon that we're gonna cut in half. Using a strainer. Let's put that guy right in there. We're gonna do actually one half orange. Oh yeah. Now we're gonna mix the cure mixture together. And it is gonna be a little, a little wet, and that's okay. So once that's mixed together, we're gonna set this aside. And then we have some grated red beet. So what I did with this is I just used a regular old cheese grater, grated it, and then using my hands, I squeezed it together to get all the excess uh, juice out. So in a bowl, we're gonna combine the beets, just like that, and the cure mixture, just like so. Just give it a good mix. So now we have our salmon. So with the salmon, what I like to do is we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt on the bottom of the plate. And you can use a baking dish, a sheet pan, anything that you like. And then I have some dill sprigs here. Very nice. We're gonna do a little bit more salt. And then we're gonna set the salmon right on top. And this is gonna help cure the bottom. Now we're gonna take our beautiful beet and citrus cure mixture, and we're gonna pat it right on top of the salmon, nice and evenly, just like so. And what's gonna happen is, is the beets are gonna start dyeing the salmon and turn it into a beautiful, beautiful red color. There we go, and we wanna make sure it's evenly on, covering all sides. And it doesn't need to look pretty, right? Because we're gonna remove this uh, when it's done. Now, I typically cure anywhere between, for, or I typically cure for about a minimum of four hours to a maximum of 12. So with this, it's really gonna depend on how thick the salmon is. So I'm gonna wrap this up, stick it in the refrigerator, and while it's curing, we're gonna make some beet top gremulata. All right, so now that the salmon is curing, we're gonna make a beet top gremulata. And when I'm using product, I like to make sure that I'm using all of the product. So with the beets, we just don't grade the beets for the cure. We're also gonna use the top and make a gremulata for the dish, uh, and let's do it. So, I have my handy dandy blender, and then we have some beautiful uh, beet tops from the, the red beets. So just like that. And what I like to do is just give it a little rough chop, uh, rough chop, rough chop, and we're gonna put it right into the blender. Just real nice in there, just like so. So we have some fresh garlic already chopped. That we're gonna dump right in. A touch of lemon juice. Oop, I made a little mess. It happens to the kitchen, right? And then, just to spice it up a little bit, some red pepper flake. There. And I'm a, I love spicy. Just ask my wife. Love it. Fresh cracked uh, black pepper. Some olive oil, which I have right behind it. Dump that right in there. 
We're gonna get the top on. And, we're done. All right. Perfect. All right, before we get into plating the salmon, let's go over the main ingredients for the dish. So of course we have our cured salmon that's been curing for about five hours now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove uh, the beet cure and rinse this off under uh, cold water and then pat it dry. Uh, we have our gremulata that we made, our beet top gremulata. Uh, we're also gonna have uh, shaved fennel, yellow cherry tomatoes, and we're gonna mix those two together with a little olive oil and salt and pepper. For garnish, we have, I reserve some of the beet tops, some of the smaller ones, and then some of the fennel fronds as well. And last but not least, uh, toasted brioche. So with that, let's get to plating this beautiful dish. salmon. I know we went a little elegant today, but I wanted to show you as the audience something a little different that can be done at home with very simple ingredients. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe. Remember that the recipe is going to be in the description of the video. And my name is Adam Solowitz. Eat well. <laughs>